work to do. Jennifer is coming for you to apologize to her. It was very ugly the last time we were all together. I'll apologize for my part in that. I accept your apology. That can never happen again. Likewise. Are y'all gonna be cool though? I'm so cool with her. I'm gonna tell you, I'm looking at her so a little. So cool with her. I'm, I'm looking at her a little sideways. It looks like Big Brother Benzino's gonna have to figure this mess out. You are black in America. Your father is gay. You gotta work a little bit harder than everyone else. Why did you dump me? I'm not a puppet. I don't wanna do this with you. Let me move on and find somebody who's gonna marry me. Action is not going all out for me. So I'm gonna see what's going on with Chance. <gasps> See you. It's so good to see you. Marcus, you better get her before I tell her how the clocks out where I'm from. I don't even take the I'm gonna give her some block ass activity. Because if I give her some block activity, this bitch ain't gonna be able to handle it. the neck. Loosen up your mouth, you know, like, you know, it's kind of like, it looks like we're, we're speaking a funny language or something like, you know. I have a vocal coaching lesson today. I've already knocked out four episodes of a cartoon, but if I want to be serious about doing voiceovers, I need development so I can get me a Disney Pixar movie. You got a really rich, a very rich voice. Okay. My personal life is just a mess. I don't know what to think about my relationships right now. I just need to keep grinding, working. I just want to throw some dialects at you. What we're going to work on is your ability to be diverse and just, uh, they need me to be this voice, I can be that. Because if you can't be that, Somebody else is gonna get that paper. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try a Jamaican Dora the Explorer. All right, give it to me, girl. Fuck, 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 hey boy. How you doing, what's going on? Which way to the bridge? I'm trying to go buy me some ganja. The ganja part, I don't know. Okay. Dora's probably not going to buy ganja. <laughs> Just be aware if you are auditioning, mm. you know, for a Disney right. show, you know, you can't, you gotta. You're right, you're right. That. So let's hear you play a man named Leroy, and he's a very shady character. Hello, baby. My name is Leroy. Why don't you come over here and sit your fine ass on my lap so I can stick my hand right up your skirt. Oh, again, we're auditioning for Disney. OK. So you just had somebody stick their hand right up your skirt. OK, so okay. we don't want to do that. In a perfect world, I would love to tone it down a lot more, but People want New York, so I think I met with the struggle of representing New York, but also merging Tiffany Pollard into the brand. Why don't we do this? Let's take a little 10 minute break. I don't want to push you too hard on the first lesson. Okay. Oh See how are you doing? This is JR. Hey JR, Hi, JR. nice to meet you. Oh, nice, nice to meet you, Samson. You. JR is my publicist. He's gonna help me build my brand. So I'm trying to figure it out with JR. I have so many things coming at me, like the opportunities are finally flooding in. So what else do you have going on? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to do the Steve Harvey show. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna kill him on that. The day after that, I have to get back and do Comedy Central. I'm a working woman. You know, whether the cameras are following me or not, I have gigs that I do, but if those opportunities are not ones that I want to take, I don't have to do it. It's not all about a dollar for me. What can you do to help me further my brand if I do decide to totally put New York on the shelf and bring out Tiffany? Can you still work with me? Well, we made pretty good money together so far. Yeah. You had to remind yourself that there's a difference between now money and future money. So these other opportunities that are coming forth, I want to make sure that we're taking advantage of them. I agree. I just really see myself branding myself well enough to where I don't have to be New York. I think if we can find a blend between both of them, mm -hmm. that's going to benefit both you and I. And Let's again, do it. OK? So. Samson hey, hey! What up, girl? Let's get we ready to, to get back to it? Yeah, okay. thank you, guys. All nice right. to meet nice you. Meeting you. Pleasure. All right, bye, guys. Bye. Have a good one. Let's get back to our first warm up we did. <laughs> Goodness, 
look at you. <laughs> so you don't always be dressing like it's an event every single day. Oh, they like said casual. I come back, gifts. Thank Congratulations you. Congratulations on the baby. Thank That's you. a baby Zeno. Baby Z, thank I you. Can't wait to see He's adorable. Him. He's I like, oh my Instagram. God, Claudia. It's like. I'm happy. I'm super happy. This is this is really nice for real. I think it's gonna for real. It's Thank a you very much. No, thing. that's dope. I asked Claudia to meet up with me at the office because I've been talking to Jen and I kind of noticed that there was still some friction. If Claudia's gonna be the boss, she has to stop all this bickering amongst people. So I just felt that I would kind of step in and make sure everything was all right. Let me ask you, what happened with you and Jennifer? We're good now. We had like a little thing. I apologize. We hugged. We're good now. If I'm, she's still smashing homie, you, you still ain't, are you gonna be all I right I told with that? her I wish her well. I hope they like are happy now, and see, good. But you, people don't wish well for people that be no, with the ex. Listen, he's You so... don't have to wish well. You can just be like, it's none of my business. You don't have to wish well. Why Because wish well is like superficial. Nobody no, wishes not. well. I do. I, I don't wish well. I wish you well. That. Because that means no I'm not that close well. to you, but I don't wish you harm. I don't wish it to like not work. You can't like basically give me a script of how I should deal with her. I am who I am. Like, I'm you are definitely you not are. giving you a script, but I'm saying, listen well, to you, I'm, listening to her. I'm, there's you know, no way y'all are good. I met with her twice. <laughs> we hugged like four times. I think we're good. If she doesn't, after all these meetings, Zeno, it's not me, it's her. I heard this with New York. I don't know why all of a sudden Benzino is like Team Jennifer. Like, I'm thinking at this point, maybe she's putting him in a trance with those fake ass green contacts. And he's like, woo, he's like caught up in the matrix. You're the one that's the executive producer. You're the one that's in the boss position. This was a test for you. And I'm not, I don't know if you, if you passed it with flying colors. I think you gotta be the bigger person. Zeno. Come on. You have only showed up to maybe two things. I had a baby. What the f You did. So with that being said, you don't know how much of a boss I have been being. Your I delegation did. skills aren't the greatest. Your attendance skills are non-existent. Like one meeting for real, Claudia? Hello, I had a baby. What do you think is the solution to all this, Mr. Have All the Answers? The pot shots between both of y'all gotta stop. But I'm saying, both of y'all love the to big, throw little pebbles at each other. The like, big You know picture? what I'm saying? Just keep hitting each other with pebbles. Like, come on, that gotta stop. I've known you for years. Right. I would think that you would have a little bit more common sense and a little bit more like, nah, I know CJ, than you have been being. But you meet someone a couple weeks ago. And you're kind of, you're coddling this woman, you're trying to push buttons and see if you can get me riled no, no, up. No, that's not true. You are. That's not you true. Are. You're getting riled you up are. because you're riled, emotional I'm about the situation. No, 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 no. I'm not emotional about him. No, the situation. I get emotional or irritated when people that are supposed to know me act like they don't know. In other words, you need to recognize. Listen to that. Will you listen to that? So you're the chick that oh, the psychiatrist would be like, I don't know oh if I can do this. <laughs> you know what I'm so saying? He would be like, the psychiatrist would be like, I don't know. And this is too much. If Claudia insists that she's right all the time and she can't take any constructive criticism, then I'm not going to be able to help her. And this project's going to go nowhere. When's that next meet? Karamo will send you a text. Karamo, yeah, you and Karamo are like an association now. Well, we're just like the smartest. Ha, <laughs> see? <laughs> You don't know my sense of humor, Benzino. Clearly, you A lot of people know. don't. Coming up on the next 15. Talk show got me kind of worried. Why? <laughs> Claudia, she doesn't know how to delegate. Just let the small go. Yeah. Let it go. I will say this. I respect what you guys are doing, but I do not respect Claudia Jordan. Ladies, where the f is Benzino at? Have a seat. No, bitch, you ain't going to control well, me. Congratulations on the baby again. Thank you. Appreciate that. That was big, man. Yeah. It's a whole different ball game now. Yeah. I mean, this is it. Me and Althea, it can't be no more after her. Because you know, as men, sometimes we ain't all sensitive to, to a woman's completely feelings, man. And we're even, even with other dudes, like I'm really. They, I always get like, you're not sensitive enough. You're not hearing my needs. Right. We don't learn how to love. Exactly. That's it. I mean, so you know, like we're definitely having a good time talking, but really the reason I you know, wanted him to come here was to really talk about Claudia and this situation before it gets too out of control. 
Talk show got me kind of worried. Why? <laughs> Claudia just seems, see, this is Claudia's problem. She, ha she has no filter and she has to learn, listen, if you're the point person on this, if you're the boss, there's no way that you could be bickering with half the staff. Let the small go. Yeah. Let it go. She has, she doesn't know how to delegate. She doesn't know how to like, just let things roll off and not be emotional about them. White women don't do that. When it comes to business, they take care of business. Come on, I love black women. I got yeah. three baby mamas that are black women. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, with us as dudes, we would say it to each other's face, right. squash it and walk Keep it away. moving. Karamo's got the right idea. You know, this is all business. And you know, not all this high school bickering back and forth between two women. This has to stop. So at this point, I'm just thinking Karamo needs to take the lead. Now, come on, Karamo, like, I understand you're gay, I get yeah. it, but I mean, I mean, you did have a son, so you was hitting the gussie at one time, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Plenty so, of it. So, so, so <laughs> after the transition, do you ever want to go back? You know what I'm saying? Nah, you ever, nah, no, nah. At all? Nah, not at all. <laughs> not having it. Not having Man. it. Yo, because when I used to f with girls, it was more of a, an ego thing. So, but right. there was no pleasure for me out of it. And so once I realized I want to have pleasure, I was like, I'm sorry. If you were <laughs> to transition back, yeah. which one of the women on the cast would you date? It would be Laura. Laura. First of all, she kind of managed. Like, how she burping and so right. mentally, you know, she right. kind of like, she's yeah, like yeah. a dude. She's, she's like, got, she's got like a, dude. a dude mentality. So what, what would be your list out of our ladies? <laughs> <laughs> It would be Althea number one. Althea number Althea two. Althea number two. <laughs> Althea, Althea number three. Number three. <laughs> yeah, all Althea's. <laughs> <laughs>
and the one person that's missing is Claudia. I think everybody realized that Claudia is the problem. It's cute out here. It is cute. I have such a big announcement tonight for everyone. I don't know how it's gonna go over, but I think it's so important for me to address the group and tell them how I really feel. How is everybody feeling right now? I feel good. We it's should so always nice. go out. That's how I feel. Do y'all see how wonderful y'all feeling right now? I'm gonna be real. Like, I was pretty leery about coming to this, but I'm hearing from Benzino, Laura, and Jennifer that, like, they see Tiffany, you cool. Yeah. And so this is the first time I'm seeing Tiffany, and let me tell you something. Just I with this Tiffany. <laughs> right? I told no, you. No, I told you she's dope. I told you she was dope. Cheers, ladies. I'm excited for you. We're going to clink it out. I'm going to need some more champagne in a minute. <laughs> here, here. And I just want to say that this atmosphere is not a mistake. This is me. And you know, that Claudia is not here, I just feel like I could just be more open and be myself. That's dope. Because I'm so used to yeah, being on dope. edge. I'm so used to not having yeah, these defensive. types of, exactly. Yeah. And I'm not trying to sound like I'm huge, but I'm booked to capacity. And I will say this, I respect what you guys are doing and the project and where you want to go, but I do not respect Claudia Jordan. And I know that's not a person that I want to work with. So the big announcement that I want to make is that I need to leave and just focus on what I've already got on the table. Can we cheers to that? So you don't want to be a part of the show? You're not working with me. I'm not going to cheers to not I working so. with you because my original thing was that you have value. But if you feel this is the best decision for you, I cheers to that. I was definitely disappointed that New York was leaving the show. And, you know, I kind of wondered how it would be if Claudia left New York State. <laughs> Karamo. But maybe Claudia shouldn't run. Maybe you should run. The only reason it's important now, because number one, we only have a couple of weeks, and yeah, right. seeing that she's having little communication difficulties yeah. with these two, yeah. then it only makes sense that let, let him yeah. take it, and then she can delegate to him. Yeah. I think we all agree, yeah. Claudia is the problem. Can you just run the So, so this is the thing. Claudia respects me enough that she allows me to step in and do stuff. I just think she's defensive. The thing well, maybe is, is she that, should let you run it, because she's a little emotional. But I would have to tell feelings. you that is that I don't see that part of Claudia. Are you gonna run the point or what, man? And if this is going to make us just move forward, yeah. yes, I would run point, but let me let you know, Claudia would always be in the picture. I understand what it takes to be a good producer. You have to juggle and make sure everyone's happy. If y'all wanna talk to me, fine, because once you talk to me, all I'm gonna do is pick up the phone and call Claudia. So, Karamo running a point? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Coming up on the next 15. Benzino, Jennifer, and Laura were asking me to take the leadership role in this. But what is the problem? Like, what have I done to these people? Do you want to do the project or not? Come here, let me talk to you for a second over here. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. No, 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 no. This isn't Karamo's show, this is my show. If you wasn't gay, seriously, I would definitely smash. <laughs> I would smash. How big is it? Well, I don't even know. You know. I don't know, really. Is it, okay, so the measuring standard that we use is potatoes. One potato, two potato, three potato. Three and a half potatoes. Damn, Damn you like marriage material. <laughs> so Claudia and I are on our way to the first run through for the talk show, and I'm so happy that we're face to face because now I can tell her what happened at the party. So what I got to tell you, mm -hmm. You know, New York had a party. What? New York, she starts to tell us that she has some big announcement to make. Okay. So her big announcement was, she don't f with you. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, really? You? That was your big announcement? But she said she don't f with you, and she doesn't want to be on the talk show. So I've wait, done I'm... nothing to this woman. Nothing. You know what? Good riddance. I'm tired of begging this bitch to be on a project that I don't even think she's good for in the first place. Yeah. We got real people meeting set up. We got people that are anxious to hear, what, see what this pilot looks like. And there, there's some real interest in the show. I've never had to beg someone to take a job before. There's a hundred other reality stars that could have been chosen for the talk show. But these people, maybe they've got some blockbuster movie in the works I just haven't seen the press release on. So I was like, praise Jesus Christ. Is that, is that Jennifer behind us? <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. I'm like, Jennifer! Jennifer, chill out! Jennifer, chill out! <laughs> 
So this is the one thing during that night as well that got me. Benzino, Jennifer, and Laura were asking me to take the leadership role in this. And my response was, you should know clearly that my ideas are coming from the work that Claudia and I are doing together. But what is the problem? Like, what have I done to these people? I don't give a f if you like me as a friend. Do you want to do the project or not? Coming up on the next 15. I'm done trying to make people feel comfortable. I'm done babying a grown ass people. All right, so we're gonna do a run through real quick. Can I buy my own chair? Why are we talking about chairs? We need to talk about content. Chair. I like the ones that are reclinable. You know what, this meeting is not gonna be like the rest of the meetings. I'm done trying to make people feel comfortable. I'm done babying a grown ass people. Karamo and I have been working overtime, like extremely hard to get everything together to shoot our pitch reel for the comment. We have appointments with networks in two weeks to sell the show. I'm ready to move forward with this thing, despite the lack of respect I've been getting from some of the cast. I no longer want to discuss any personal problems anyone has with me or I have with them. That okay. is completely off the table. I care about the work you're willing to put into this project and you're, you're being here. They don't see the boss that I see. They don't see when we're up all night, the meetings we've had here several times. And so I think this is a great chance for you to show them. The only way that these people are going to give me the respect that I deserve is I have to really be all business today and really resist the urge to be petty. At the end of this, they need to know these are the dates. If you're not here, the show will go on. I would prefer to keep this show very mainstream with, of course, an urban flair, but I definitely want to keep it where we can go anywhere with this show. Agreed. Let me find a couple Yeah, we're going to have to change a lot of this stuff. Okay. Hey! Ladies! Hi. Hi, crew! Y'all look like What's the fly-ass girl group. Hi, babe. Hi. We sound on our planet, though. Up. This is dope. Thank oh, yeah. you. Isn't Benzino here? No, he Benzino said that he can't make it. He called in sick. Yeah. Aww. So, Benzino's not coming. Not sure I believe that he's really sick. I really want to cut out. So, so this is, crazy. ladies, I want you to meet my son, Jason. Oh my he's god. Actually, yeah. Hi. This is Jennifer. Hi, this is Jason. Laura. So, like, if I need coffee, I tell him. You tell him, yes. This is the guy you need. So, he's going to be oh. there. And for your segment, right. when we do On the Street, oh. we have Jenny on the block. That's cute. You like that? Perfect. Claudia came That's up with cute. it. We thought it was a really good thing. So we're going to start here. This is our comment box. There will be graphics behind here. And basically, we'll do a quick bumper for the beginning of the show. The name of the show is The Comment. And basically, the show is going to focus on what people are out there talking about, what people are talking about in the streets, on the internet. We're basing it off of the fact that everyone has something to say. So this is your chance to comment here. And then we'll comment oh, yeah, on what y'all like are talking about. So that's why in the emails, I know I've been blowing y'all up. I need y'all to really, really be you know, paying attention to what's going on because everything's gonna come from what people are talking about. It's not gonna be something that we can just make up. We want the comment to be a panel of people with diverse opinions. But if our talent don't know what's going on, we don't have a show. All right, so we're gonna do a run through real quick. Yeah. Can I buy my own chair? No, you cannot buy your own chair. I like the ones that are reclinable. Why are we talking about chairs? We need to talk about content. Chair. Top of the show, it's gonna be just like a cold open, all right. We got a tweet from at Rachel Cyburns who said, the Kardashian family continues the legacy of making money off their mouth. Damn, everybody has something to say. And we have all that and much more coming up on the comment. Okay. All right. Let's run over. Kylie Jenner sold out of her lip kit line in 29 seconds. Yes. Mike Singleton commented, it does not come with doctors or syringes. Just shade. Why are y'all so shady with y'all comments? That's what I want to know. A lot of people are commenting on the fact that male celebrities are doing a little fluff, a little fluff and tuck, and then they're posting photos on Instagram. Yeah, well, first of all, I want to know if it's real or not. Did you guys see Benzino's pic? Benzino showed his ding. What? Did you get the Did you get the Did you get the Give me your phone. Give me your there phone. You go. Y'all clearly can't control. stay focused when penis is on the building, especially you. Damn it. I know. So the one person who's not even on the panel decides to wreck the momentum. Way to go, Jennifer. Are y'all feeling any questions? For me, a lot of times, to be honest with you, I don't get to watch TV. 
I don't get to hear what's on the news, but no, I'm just informing you. Don't just expect me to always be prepared because I feel like in real life, nobody's always prepared. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Well. No, stop being a control freak. Just get, I'm not, get, being, no, understand. I'm not being a control understand, freak. Understand, guys. Uh, control freak? All I'm asking you is to kind of check headlines like once or twice a day. You want to try this with your interview now so we can go into it? Okay. Is there anything in particular that you want to comment on or that's important to you right now? No, not right now. I can't think of anything like offhand that I want to talk about. I'm open to suggestions. Offhand? You've had six weeks to come up with something and you have nothing in that brain of yours? Are you serious? In closing, before we go, I just want to say uh, I know there was a, a party or an event that New York had. There was some discussion about Karamo should take lead. I don't really care what was said. This is my baby. It's not even up for discussion. Coming up on the next 15. I don't, oh, I don't want to talk about it. You've been to like no meetings, right? I missed one meeting. You know, Benzino is so full of you're being disrespectful right now. Oh, what are you talking because, about? Listen, you have Benzino, to no, 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 no. This isn't Karamo's show, this is my show. So y'all gonna have to give me some pointers since you two have a successful organization. <laughs> Tonight's the night that we're doing the first event for my new organization, Six and 10, that discusses HIV and AIDS in the African-American community. And I'm so excited to have all my castmates here because as black people, this is affecting us. You guys need some cupcakes? Cupcakes? Y'all good over here with these? We want cupcakes? Oh, no. Y'all need some cupcakes? How are you feeling? Good, yeah, how are you doing? Good, you're doing a good job tonight. Oh, thank you, Dad, thank you so much. Don't put down the cupcakes, you're still on the job, all right? If somebody right, come out with like a cupcake. All right, wait. So I'm thinking that once Claudia gets here, we're gonna have a serious conversation about making sure you get a job on the talk show. What? Mm -hmm. I get that, like that's that. tight. So everything's set up, the party's looking nice, I got Jason here working, and he's doing a wonderful job. The night is going off without a hitch, and I'm so happy because we're actually raising money for an important cause. Honestly, now that you said that, even a lot better, because I made the decision I am not going to college. So just because I told you you're getting a job, you think that's the situation that now you don't have to get an education? Not necessarily. I know a lot that's of That's exactly what it sounds like. How are you going to drop I that? I know a lot of people who go straight from high school and go into production and work there. But uh, but there's a lot of people who also fail at that. Oh, I'm so you, probably, you need to, I won't be those people who fail at that. Yeah, okay. you damn right because you're not gonna be in my house with this talking about you're not going to college. Word, I got you. I got you. We, I can't talk about this tonight. We'll talk about this tomorrow. We're not talking about cool, cool. All right, cool. You want one? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> okay. Unless there's a college application needs one of those. Wow. Hey, who wants some cupcakes? Hey, hey. What's up, beautiful? Hi, what's up? Thank I love you it for being here. Well, you had alcohol. Okay. So I would not miss Karamo's HIV awareness event for the world. He's been the only one who's been consistently supportive of me. And there's no way I would not give him the same support tonight. Hi, babe. Hi, thank you. Oh, thank you. Hi. Good. You look pretty. Mm -hmm. Nice. Hi. Uh, congratulations. Look, thank you so much. Well, I'm really proud of you. This thank is super you. amazing. Thank is you. everybody coming? Jennifer said she's coming. I texted Benzino and he was like, yeah, he's gonna be here. Yeah. But I don't know, you know, because he was feeling under the weather, so. That's he's not sick? No, he's not sick at all. I talked to him today and he was like, what's good, CJ? And I guess he forgot he told us he was sick uh, last night. But you know what, though, Benzino's older. That's not an excuse. It's not that excuse, but it's like, you know, like. You out here getting girls pregnant, you you ain't that out of, you know, you ain't that. Uh, hey, well, at least that still work. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. hey. how are nice. you? Whoa, 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 whoa. Y'all look amazing tonight as usual. How you feeling? You feeling good? You better? Yeah, better. yeah, yeah. I'm still a little, a little congested, but I was burnt, man. I gotta go mingle with the guests. I'm gonna be back for y'all. Y'all enjoy y'all. So you need another drink? No, no, I got my water. Good, 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 good. Hi, sexy. Hi. 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 I came to Karamo's event to support him because I actually like him. I think he's smart, and he's already shown me that he's a much better leader than Claudia. 
So Ray J is shooting. He's doing his show in, in, in New York. He Did said. he ever confirm? I talked to him again this morning. Uh -huh. He was like, he ain't gonna be able to get away. So. Okay, we need to start on that right now. So he had Ray J confirm as a guest on the show. Oh yeah, he was telling me, but he was He's saying that he didn't know what they. Well, we just got that today with the temps. So. Well, it was in the packet that we had last night. No. But you weren't there because you were sick. Right, but. I haven't even been here for 10 minutes, and Claudia's already breathing down my neck. And I'm like, look, now's not the time. I'm trying to remember my speech I have in my head. And it just, it was crazy. I just found out today that was that we have to get the guest for the 10. You a magazine editor and owner, you know? I never said I can't do it. Okay, good. Like, you know, I got five days to do it. That's plenty I can of make time. it happen. I ain't worried who, about who it. Who else do you think would be good? I, I, oh. I don't think, I don't, oh. I don't, I don't want to talk You've about You've been that. to, like, no meetings, right? I missed one meeting. You know, Benzino is so full of He's deflecting, he's not taking responsibility for failing at the one thing he had to do, book a guess. I just can't take it anymore. At this point, I do not have time for Benzino to play catch up. I missed one meeting, it, what it, is the it, problem? It's not about you missing one meeting. Come here, let me talk to you for a second over here. Come on, let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. Karamo, this is no, 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 this isn't Karamo's show, this is my show. Let me talk to you. This show is going to happen right. with one person, with two people. I hope I hope it's going to happen right. with five people. OK. <laughs> I came out to Karamo's event tonight to talk about HIV awareness. And now I got Claudia breathing down my neck about this business stuff. She needs to calm down at this point. I missed one meeting. It's not about the meeting. Then what are you talking about? It's about not responding to any emails. I, I'm not good at responding to emails. I don't even look at my emails half time. But I do know that I have to get talent for the show, and that's a big part, and I'm gonna come okay. through with that. Well, let me tell you something. Sorry. When people come to you in a, about working on a show, and they send you emails. Karamo. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, no, 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 he does not. I'm the executive producer on the show. I brought him on. Hold on, hold on. Are we serious? Hold on. This is, we're serious? No, because you're being disrespectful right now. What are you talking because, about? Listen, you have Benzino, too much to drink. No, 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 don't, don't, don't even try it. Don't try that. Let's have an adult conversation where you don't. No, 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 I'm not yelling. You are, but why are you pointing your, why are we getting, Karamo, yes, I'm sir. supposed to be here talking about this. Yes. If I'm not going to talk about this, I'll leave. I'm yes. not going to sit here and do this with her. Not here. We're I'm not, not doing it. No, 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 I'm no. not doing We're not arguing. We're, we're, we're going to start right now. We're okay. going to start, We're start not right arguing. now. We can talk about this later. I'm not going to talk about this here. No, I'm not going to hold up. I'm not, not now. All, the not only now. thing you need to do is just respond to emails so we can have you in the loop because right, I want your right, input. but not here. Not it here. It has to happen here because we don't see you because no, you're but sick. but you want to stage and you want to perform. This isn't, this okay. isn't it. I'm not well, for I, all we'll that. We'll talk after you do your spoken word. How about that? What? Jeez. What happened is his overreaction. This is crazy. I'm not sure. I think there's more to the story than Benzino missing a meeting because she was going hard on him. And I just didn't think it made any sense. I don't know what's going on. And then I try to tell you what's going on. Then it's like, not here. Are you, Listen, are you serious? All right, so we're about to yes. start right now. Okay. So we're here for HIV AIDS awareness for our community, right? Hey, everyone. How y'all doing tonight? Hey. Oh. Six and 10 is my brand new nonprofit. And it is very important because in our community, six out of 10 black, gay, and bisexual men are likely to contract HIV before the age of 40. As a gay man, I've watched too many people be diagnosed and die of HIV and HIV complications. And I'm hoping somebody watching this is gonna learn that their life is valuable and that they should get tested and they should protect themselves. You know, Karamo's a good friend of mine. I met him, you know, we've been doing the show together. And I got to know a lot about him in that short time and really a lot more about myself. You know, growing up in Boston, I wasn't really exposed to gay until later on in life. And I can just tell you guys, I'm a much more better man now. I don't see gay, I just see people. To sit in front of a group of gay men and give a speech, I was a little bit nervous. Now, I, I was a lot nervous. But you know, Karamo's a good guy. I felt like I, I want to challenge myself to see if I can get through this without passing out. With HIV, a lot of times, we think it's someone else. It's not us. And it's becoming more of a reality and less of a thing that's so far away. So we have to start taking it more seriously. So I commend you for having this event because it's so important. You know, I feel like I have to give something back and put my money where my mouth is. So, Karamo, I have a check here for $10,000 from me to you. Thank you. 
So make sure it's not rubber. Claudia gives away money that she clearly doesn't have. I'm just like, are you trying to buy his loyalty? Like, come on, nobody's buying it. That really just, yes. really just almost got me crying. Though, so. You deserve it. Thank you. One of my first agents lost his life to HIV. So this check that I'm giving Karamo, it's for Karamo and his organization, but it's also like a thank you to someone who believed in me way before I believed in myself. Thank you all for being here. We appreciate you, we love you, and enjoy some more liquor. My son is passing around drinks. So get a drink <laughs> and have a good time tonight. Thank you. I actually came here for Karamo. So at this point, I just want to distance myself from Claudia in this BS that she's bringing up right now because it's definitely not the time. Did you leave? Who's late? Who left? Oh, you know what? We'll talk. We'll talk. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, Benzino so last? So Benzino just spoke in my event, and I'm so proud of him as just a black man speaking up. And whatever went on between him and Claudia, I gotta do damage control because tonight's not the night. I don't know what that was, and I'm sorry. So good. I invited you here, and I appreciate you coming. So, yeah, I appreciate it. Like, real talk. So, so good. I'm not for all that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm for the positive stuff. Whatever that was, like, that could have waited. I left all that drama behind at Love It Hip Hop, and if Claudia wants to turn this experience into some petty arguing, I'm not gonna be a part of it. Them bouncing. Yeah, you know no, seriously, and I can't wait to your event next yep. week. You know what I mean? Appreciate I'm down. Yep. You know sure, I mean? hell yeah. Thank you for coming. Uh, thank thank you for having me. Appreciate it. So I was talking to Benzino, he's gone. He's left for the night. Why? Yes. I don't know. Well, can we talk real quick? Yeah. And then yes. And then we'll come and grab you a drink. Here we go. What the <laughs> <laughs> My event tonight for six and ten went off great. We raised money, we raised awareness, but the only thing that's not sitting well with me is the issue of Claudia confronting Benzino on the stage. And I gotta pull my girl to the side and let her know how I'm feeling. So, Benzino left, obviously, because of what happened out here, so... Well, he's ridiculous. So, Zeno so is guess... not here. He's really left the building? He's gone? I, I is guess. Zeno really gone or not? Are you mad? No. I just... The crowd was uncomfortable when they were watching Oh, that. they saw it happen? Yeah, because they saw that going on, and so, you know... <laughs> up again. I swear I have the worst luck at charity events. Like, this is deja vu because I had another run-in on another reality show with another co-star, but you know what? People don't pay attention to who starts these things. I didn't even see Benzino tonight, all no, to the was, side. Yeah, that's right. not very like him. Yeah. That's not right. like him at all. Yeah. No, but remember he came and he was like, yo, I can't do her. I think what she's really trying to do is take control. You know, I'm sorry. I, no, I, and I accept your apology wholeheartedly. I, you know, I love you. You still did so much good, and I appreciate you, and you, the event was not ruined. Okay, good. Did you see what happened between Claudia and Benzino? Yeah, I saw the whole thing. I just feel like she's frustrated. Ladies, where the f is Benzino at? Your boyfriend? No. What you do to him? <laughs> Listen, no, don't laugh, Claudia. You ran him off? Okay, we're not gonna. No, do that. because where's Benzino? Did you castrate him? Did you sever his penis? I... What happened? So. No, don't get we, up, bitch. Uh, we'll worry about Benzino when we need to. So have a seat. No, bitch, you ain't gonna well, control well, me. Sit down. That's fine. Sit your ass up, Karamo. Grab this bitch and sit her down. That's a grown woman. I'm not sit grabbing her. nobody. Sit down, Claudia. You're not a good actress. I'm not trying to act, bitch. I'm straight up real. Marcus, you better get her before I tell her how the clocks out where I'm from. I don't even think I'm going to give her some block ass activity. Because if I give her some block activity, this bitch ain't going to be able to handle it. On the next 15. We should not be talking about this stuff. Again, yes, respectively. We are going to talk about this. No, I'm, yes, we are. No, 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 we're not. Because you don't know what happened outside. I don't give a f It All doesn't I matter said. why you went anywhere. You shouldn't have had that conversation with him on that so, stage anyway. So I, because we're still here talking about 610. What you finna do with that bag? You about to walk and leave me? You don't want to bend or nothing, huh? What you grabbing your bag it for? Your way or the highway? Frank Sinatra, my way. No, this no, me and you. This me and you. Please help me, Lord. What's going on with you? Oh, Lord, oh, God. What's going to happen is that you're going to be coming off as the bully and the wrong one here. I have not bullied Jennifer Williams. She has not seen bullying, OK? I meet with her, she's shady. How many times do I have to make up with this that bitch? 